Good morning, dear students. We are about to uh, start with uh, GC Advanced Level History by Sir Moses. Cameroon history since 1800. With the program here, for the table of content of this topic, we have introduction, causes of the migration, which is grouped into political, economic, social, geographical factors, effect of the migration, which is grouped in political effect, social, economic, and geographical effect. With the introduction, population movement refers to the widespread displacement of ethnic and tribal groups from one geographical region to another in the course of the 19th century in Cameroon. Before the 19th century, migration was mainly voluntary. But during the 19th century, most migration were involuntary. The general direction of movement was from the north to the south and movement was often in waves or groups. The ethnic or tribal groups that often migrated include the Bantu. Who were the Bantu? These are people of the coastal region of Cameroon and include the Douala, Bakweri, Bafour, Balong. They occupy the present-day southwest and littoral region of Cameroon. The semi Bantu, the semi Bantu general refers to as the western grassland, that is, the northwest, west, and part of the southwest region of present day. It is habited by origins such as the Chamba, the Tikas, the Ridikum, and the Angem, and the Fulanis, that is the out Fulanis part. Now, this migration were caused either by push factors, that is, involuntary. Or forceful factor that compel people to move, or pull factors, voluntary or attractive factors that encourage people to move. Causes of population movement in Cameroon economic, social, political, natural, or geographical factors or motive contributed enormously to population movement in Cameroon in the 19th century. We begin with political causes or motive. The Fulani Jihad in Northern Cameroon is the first political causes we have to examine. As you can see from the picture below, these were holy wars fought by Muslim fanatics in order to spread Islam. The Jihad were introduced in Northern Cameroon by Modibo Adama in order to spread Islam. Any groups that rejected Islam were forced to migrate to other areas. For example, the Tupuri, the Musgum, and Massa were forced to migrate to the hilly areas of the north. Also, the Chamba, Tika, and the Mbom left the north southward. The next intertribal war, the next political factor. During the 19th century, Ethnic and tribal wars were very rampant and dominated the history of Cameroon. These wars were caused by the determination of stronger groups to rage, subjugate, and enslave weaker ones. These wars were either intertribal or intertribal. Such wars destroy the peace that usually reigns amongst most communities and produced waves of violence that created a sense of fear and insecurity, thereby forcing tribe, tribal community to migrate to war-free areas in search for peace. For example, between 1885 and 1888, they saw defeated the Bamun, forcing them to move to the, to the present area of settlement. Also, the Dwala attacked the Bakoko, forcing them out of the coast. The Bali Chamba split and settled in different parts of the grass field after they were defeated by the Bambileke at the Battle of Bafufondo. Also, the Nka migrated from Kimbo and settled out at their present location after they were defeated by the Nsa. In addition, Bafut raid on the Tingong and Obang forced them to migrate out of Bafut. The next political factor, payment of tribute. Some ethnic groups in the 19th century 
migrated because they refused to pay tribute. These were fines imposed by stronger groups on weaker ones after defeating them. After defeating them during intertribal conflict, they include slaves, ivory, cattle. Groups that refused to pay this tribute had to migrate to new location. For example, the Bayer, the Vut, and the Tika migrated from the north southward because they refused to pay tribute to the Fulani. Also, the Obang and Tingong migrated out of Bafut because they refused to pay tribute to the Bafut. The next political factor, German colonial policy. German labor, social and political policy contributed to the 19th century population movement in Cameroon. Ethnic groups that refused to collaborate with the Germans and resisted this policy migrated to new sites. For example, after the Bakuri resistance, the people migrated out of Moyo to Boya. Also, the Widiku migrated to Bali because they refused to provide laborers to Wayland, who was a German labor recruiter. Their village were burned down and they only returned into Widikum in 1906. The next political factor is succession dispute or dynastic quarrel. Migration were provoked in Cameroon in the 19th century by succession dispute. These disputes were common after the death of a king, though they existed well-established succession laws in most kingdoms. Ambitious princes are often attempted to bypass succession laws to ascend the throne. When they fail, they move away with their followers to other areas to form new kingdoms. For instance, when the leader of the Chamba group, Gaulbi, died at Bafufondo, his seven sons separated to form the seven Bali Fondom we have today, like Balingam, Ngashu, Gatang, Muti, Yonga, Kumba, and Gassin. Also, the Dwala separated at Petit when Bedi died. Ewali, one of his sons, took his followers to the Wuri estuary where he founded the Dwala kingdom. In addition, at Rifum, the children of the form of Tika separated after his death. Gonso founded the Saw Fondom, Bam founded the Bam Fondom, and Shara founded the Bamun Fondom, as you can see their picture below. Then, these were political causes of population movement. We are now moving to examine the economic reasons or motive that caused population movement in the 19th century Cameroon. The first was to examine the search for grazing land. The 19th century population movement in Cameroon were caused by the search for grazing land. Ethnic groups that depended on criminal on animal rearing migrated to areas that had abundant grazing land. This was particular with the Fulani who migrated from the north of Cameroon southwards to the western grassland. This explained the presence of the Fulani today around the Sabon Hills and the Menchum Valleys. The next economic factors we have to talk today is search for fatal soil. Some ethnic groups migrated in Cameroon in the 19th century in search of agricultural land. This group depended on subsistence agriculture for a living. Thus, they migrated to areas with abundant fatal soil for agriculture. For instance, the Bali left the North Cameroon for the Western grassland in search of agricultural land. Also, the Bakweri migrated to the foot of Mount Cameroon because they wanted to explore the rich volcanic soil for agriculture. The migration and settlement of the Bambileke in the Mbou Plains was due to the need for fatal soil. The next is search for hunting opportunity. The 19th century migration were influenced by the search for hunting opportunities. Ethnic groups that carry out hunting expeditions migrated in search of areas with abundant hunting opportunities. For example, the Bakweri migrated to the foot of Mount Cameroon because they wanted to hunt the abundant wild animals that were found in the area. Also, the Pygmies settled in the forest area because they were interested in hunting wild 
animals that were there. The next economic factor is trade opportunity. Trade opportunity. Population migration in the 19th century Cameroon were influenced by the search for trade opportunity. These opportunities were provided by the European trading companies, which established business along the Cameroon coast. Thus, some ethnic groups migrated to the coast, coast of Cameroon to act as middlemen between the European along the coast and the Bushmen in the interior. For example, the Douala migrated from Petit to Wuri Estuary because of trade opportunity. Also, trade opportunity influenced the Bulu to migrate to the south coast of Cameroon. The next is job opportunity. Ethnic groups in the 19th century Cameroon were caused by the search for job, uh, job opportunity. The establishment of plantation along the coast of Cameroon by the German influenced migration to the coast, though no particular ethnic group migrated from the interior to the coast in search for job, the number of people who moved from the interior to work in the plantation was huge that we consider it as population movement. The availability of means of transport. <coughs> Excuse me. Population movement in Cameroon in the 19th century were caused by development in transport. Some ethnic groups in Cameroon moved because they discovered the new means of transportation. For instance, the Bali Chamba migrated from the north to the western grassland because they were able to acquire formidable horses from the black moors of Sudan. Also, the Douala migrated from Petit to the Wuri Estuary because they discovered that they could float on lot of wood, on lot of wood through the Dibamba River to the Wuri Estuary. The next is fishing opportunity. The migration of ethnic groups in Cameroon in the 19th century were influenced by the search for fishing opportunities. Ethnic groups that carry out fishing were attracted to areas with abundant fishing ground. For instance, the Douala left Petit for the Wuri Estuary because of fishing opportunities. Also, the Bakweri settled around the Atlantic coast of Cameroon to carry out fishing. In addition, the settlement of the Bamoon around the Noon Valley was influenced by the fishing opportunity. Then, after examining the economic causes or economic factor that led to the migration of tribal groups in the 19th century, we are now moving to examine the social reason. On the first social reason we are going to talk, we are going to talk about the natural calamity. The displacement of ethnic groups in Cameroon in the 19th century were provoked by natural calamity and disaster. These disasters include flood, famine, and drought. For instance, the advancement of the Sahara Desert into northern Cameroon forced some ethnic groups to migrate southward, like the Chamba Leko, the Tika groups, and the Fulanis. Also, some group migrated because some group migrated because of belief that their land was cursed. Thus was the case that was the case with the com who migrated from Babesi under Dangdong, the sister of their phone, after they committed after he committed suicide. You have cultural affiliation. Cultural affiliation, cultural tie or affiliation for some ethnic groups in Cameroon to migrate during the 19th century. Ethnic groups that had a common origin, language, history and ancestor often moved in the same direction. For instance, the Douala and Bakweri migrated from Upper Congo and settled at the western coast of Cameroon. This was the same with the Baya and the Keyeka. The next social factor is population pressure. Population pressure influenced some ethnic groups to migrate in Cameroon in the 19th century. The increase in population in some areas led to the scarcity of land, food shortage, and in some cases, famine. For example, population pressure around the Lake Chad region forced three ethnic groups like the Bambileke, the Chamba, and Tika to migrate. You have outbreak of diseases. Some tribal groups in Cameroon migrated in the 19th century because of the outbreak of diseases. The outbreak of diseases was often 
attributed to superstitious. This made, this made the people to believe that, that their land was cursed and had to migrate. This was the case with the Ridicum who migrated from the forest region to the grass field after the outbreak of chicken pox and sleeping sickness. Then, after examining the social factors that influenced people to migrate in the 19th century, we are now moving to examine geographical factors. And the first is influence of geography that we are going to examine under rule of water body. The movement and settlement of some tribal groups were influenced by the presence of water body. The water bodies were rivers, lakes, and the Atlantic oceans. They provided means of transportation, fishing ground, and fertile soil, which attracted population. For example, the twin Mengumba Lake influenced the migration and settlement of the Bakosi. Also, the river Noon influenced the migration and settlement of the Bamun. The presence of river Mongo influenced the migration and settlement of Bakuri and Balong. You have the next geographical factors, rules of hills. The presence of hills influenced some ethnic groups to migrate in the 19th century. Hilly at areas acted as defensive sites, which provided a refuge to tribal groups that were looking for peaceful location. The insecurity caused by intertribal wars and the jihad caused some tribal groups to migrate to hilly sites for safety. For instance, the migration of the Bamileke to the Western Highland, also the migration of the Nsor from Ta Tavisa to Kimbo was influenced by the presence of hills. hills. Climate was another geographical factor. Climate played an important role to the migration of ethnic groups in Cameroon in the 19th century. The harsh climate condition in some areas caused population to migrate to areas with better climate. For instance, the advancement of the Sahara Desert into North Cameroon forced the Chamba, the Bambileke, and the Tika to migrate from the Lake Chad region to the south to the southward grass field. Good. After examining the causes, right? Remember, we are now moving to the econ or consequence of population movement. Economically, social, political, natural, or geographical factors or motive contributed enormously to population movement in Cameroon in the 19th century. And these causes, and these causes, right, equally produce what far-reaching consequences which we are about to examine now. We are about to examine the effect, consequences, aftermath, repercussion of the 19th century population movement in Cameroon. On the first one, we are going to examine emergence of composite fandoms. The 19th century population movement in Cameroon contributed to the formation of composite kingdoms. What were composite kingdoms? These were powerful kingdoms formed by the attachment of smaller kingdoms to bigger for security reasons or because they could not pay tribute after they were defeated in the intertribal war. For example, Bafut emerged as a composite kingdom made up of Bafut proper, Tingong, Ombang, and Mundom. Also, the Nso emerged as composite kingdom made up of the Nso proper, the Nka, the Mbim, the Kilu, and many others. The second uh, consequence we are going to examine here is adoption of new culture. Tribal migration influenced some ethnic groups to adopt or borrow new culture. As ethnic groups migrated, they came into contact with one with other groups and adopted or borrowed some aspect of the culture like language, tradition, language, tradition, <clears throat> and religious belief. For example, the Balinyonga, who originally spoke Mumbuka, adopted some aspect of the Bamun language to develop the Mungaka, which they speak today. The Bakweri adopted some aspect of the Dwala language. The Nka adopted the Lamso, which was different from their original language. In the next, redistribution of population. Population migration resulted to the redistribution of population across the territory of Cameroon. Before population